morning. My name's Amy and I was working my homeschool room, getting it ready for our school year to begin in a few weeks. And I decided to stop and make this video um, and just share three things. So I'm gonna share two things that worked great last year and one new thing we're gonna put in our classroom. And I hope you join me for some more videos in the future. All right, so first thing is this sign. It was right behind my head where everyone could see it. And it says, no negativity allowed here. And this was really great to post. There were so many times I can remember last year pointing at it, repeating it, asking my kids to say it out loud, um, and just putting this as the standard and how our school is operating without negativity. There, when a negative comment in the form of whining or complaining um, would come, I don't wanna do this, this is taking forever, a quick reminder was awesome. So that's number one. The second thing that was really awesome that I found and used was this behavior chart. And I found it on MeaningfulMama.com. So go ahead and check that out. It was a free download and I'm so thankful she took the time to make it and share it. So I printed it in color and I cut out each after I lam and laminated them and then scotch taped them all together and each kid got to decorate with paint or marker a clothes pin. All right, so each day we started at the, the yellow color. Have a great day. And you can print it with the Bible verses or without. I printed it with the Bible verses listed. And when there was a situation where someone was throwing a fit, being difficult, it, it led to an immediate downward. These, they're earning extra chores, win-win. So. It works out great because they have their regular daily chores and if they ended up on one of these colors right here, they earned an extra one. And there was only a couple times the entire year out of my four kids where that happened. Um, below that is no screen time and to your room. But I found with the opportunity for them to quickly change their attitude and mood, they could work their way back up and so rarely did anyone ever have to end their day below the yellow. Um, and then also after each subject, I would turn and we would move up. If they completed it, they did their best, we had a positive attitude, we moved up, each kid individually. So this is a very individual chart. And I enjoyed getting that positive time to just acknowledge, hey, you guys, that was awesome, everyone tried um and for me it that's important to have a positive attitude and if they made it all the way up to the very top that was reward time and we had a little brainstorming meeting at the beginning of our school year and made a few prizes and throughout the whole year they only reached it a couple times because it was a really big deal and it wasn't like every time you do the right thing you get a reward um so they they chose uh they got to do you know chores, their chore for the day? That was a super awesome one a few kids picked. There was also get $3 to spend on a treat. So it was either ice cream or um, a Dutch Bros or something like that. Um, and then they had a couple other they, they found that were motivating. Um, let's see. Oh, so 30 extra device minutes. That was one of their other ones. I found our post-it with rewards. So I encourage you to check this out if you just need something to encourage positivity in your homeschool room. All right, the last thing I wanted to say about that is anytime someone moved down, really try helping them get back to that place of a positive mindset. And sometimes kids just need a break and they need to step away, return, just turn that switch back on. And so um, I just want to encourage you to encourage your kids so that you can end each day in a positive place. Some days are hard, so this definitely helped. Um, the third thing I have to show you, I just picked it up at Target and they have that like back to school area and I found it. We've really never had a calendar type program in our day. So I think my twins will, will love this. They are already keeping track. So we're gonna do this in the beginning of our morning. 
we start our day with the flag salute each day and we take turns who gets to to say the <laughs> I called it the flag salute that's hilarious pledge allegiance we start with the pledge allegiance each day and we um, take turns leading it also we put our hands in the middle like a wrestling team and we break on three and so the person who led the Pledge Allegiance also gets the lead, the hands being broken. So um, they get to come up with what they're gonna say. They have a 10 minute, 10 second max to come up with it. So sometimes it's just super spectacular Monday on three and then we break one, two, three and we all repeat it. And um, it just helps with that positive mindset. We're starting school together and we're a team. So I encourage you to give that a try and they love it when it's their day. Um, and the things that they've come up with to say are way more creative than what I would. So I encourage you to help get them involved in that part of your morning. All right, so um, I'll be back soon with some more homeschooling help. So please watch again. All right, talk to you soon, bye.